Hey guys, so this clip is being filmed on Christmas Day. I'm actually about to head to my Christmas festivities. I'm about to open the gift to myself. So if you're new here, I was engaged last Christmas and this year was very transformative, transitional. Even though it's been a very positive self-love journey, there are certain things that kind of make me feel weird still. Like last Christmas, I felt settled and secure and anytime I looked down at my hand, I had a reminder of that. And to go from that, it's been weird. All year I've been telling myself, I don't need that to feel secure, safe, committed. I'm committed to myself. I'm secure within myself. Thank you so much, Lauren B team, for this beautiful ring that I'm about to unbox. You guys have been so wonderful to work with and this is literally a dream ring to me. I can't believe this is in my hands. I'm really excited to see it in person right in front of me. Shout out to Bailey, Catherine, and Marilyn. You guys have made this such a wonderful experience. So we moved into the tea room because there's some mad leaf blowing going on outside, but here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Well, Gabby, we have come so far this year. I did not expect to cry to see this ring, but I am. We have come so far. I don't know where I should wear it. Should I wear it like, is that weird? Should I wear it on this finger? I think I should wear it on like a middle finger or pointer finger. We have come so far and we're gonna go so much further together and all we need is each other. So this is a rose gold band if you guys can't see. Oh my gosh. Also shout out to Paris Hilton for sending me her Love Rush fragrance. I'm gonna do a mini review in this video, um, but look at the PR box. It comes like with this book. Oh, this journal with a key. This sticker, a lovely box where she makes a very beautiful bride. And of course, the beautiful bottle. And then I got this beautiful YSL PR box. It's of all their perfumes. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've tried this one. Then I got lipsticks, a mascara. Oh my God, I'm so in love with my ring. So I'm gonna read the notes for Love Rush. Love Rush notes. So the top notes are Italian bergamot, mandarin zest, white apricot nectar. The heart is Dahlia Blanche, lush gardenia. T Sorry if I'm pronouncing things wrong. I'm so bad at like reading. Tunisian orange flower. And the base notes are sandalwood, musks, and vanilla orchid. Let's do this. Oh, wow. I wonder if she wore this on her wedding. It's very like special occasion. I smell like the sandalwood, musk, and vanilla the strongest, and the gardenia. It literally smells like a special occasion. If I could compare this to any perfume that I've talked about on this channel before, it smells like a more powdery version of Amand by Prada. It's so pretty. The bottle would look gorgeous on a vanity. It like looks like a dress form. I love her dress form perfumes. But yeah, that's a little mini review for this vlog. Hey booze, so today, is a week later, it's New Year's, New Year's Eve, <laughs> and I am hosting a 1920s like speakeasy party in my basement. I'm gonna insert footage here, but we basically turned the entire downstairs into a speakeasy. I don't know how, like literally it did not look like this this morning. Johnny, I'm gonna credit him, he like was working on this all day and we had some help but like i don't know how we did it but we transformed the entire downstairs to look like 1920s so while that was going on downstairs all day i was making vintage 1920s traditional like new year's dishes back in the day there were like new year's eve like dishes that were commonly made at parties and how how long am i going to blot my lips for i made ambrosia I made the cucumber little cream cheese tea cakes. 
I made the pineapple maraschino cherry orange creamsicle cake. I made little puff pastry hors d'oeuvres. Today was really fun, just like cooking all day in this like time period theme. So I feel like in the future or in 2023 vlogs, I wanna do like vid a video where I like make multiple dishes with a theme, like 1950s meals or like 1970 meals, like just like different decades. I don't know, I just had so much fun. I definitely got inspired today. I'm gonna be dressing really, really extra tonight. So it's like a really intimate group of people. I decided to throw this party last minute. I thought I was gonna be in LA and I'm not. It's gonna be like our friend group, like about 10 of us. So it's gonna be a real intimate party. So with that being said, I'm literally gonna go all out and wear like a gown or one of my vintage gowns that I tried on in my try on haul in the fall. Also this week, I went antique shopping to decorate the downstairs for the speakeasy. I found these New Year's Eve vintage cards and I love vintage holiday cards. Like I love Easter, I love Christmas, like the little holiday cards, they go all out, they're so adorable. I never in my life saw a New Year's Eve card like vintage card and I found a bunch of them. So I bought literally like a hundred vintage New Year's Eve cards that are in my color palette, like gold, cream, and pastels. And I'm going to string them over the fireplace when I'm done with my makeup um, and the garland. It's gonna be really, really cute. Okay guys, so I'm not dressed yet, but I wanna show you what the downstairs looks like. It's a speakeasy setup. The candles aren't lit yet. So this is my vintage dress that I'm wearing tonight and I'm wearing these black velvet gloves and these vintage earrings. Oh my gosh. I've never like frolicked around my house in like a big gown before, but I'm really, really excited to do that today. Okay, booze. So this is my friend, Jean Baptiste. Hi. His name is JB for short. Yep. He's been one of my best friends for a while now, and he still hasn't smelled my perfume, beautiful mess. I know. Crazy. So I'm gonna get his reaction on camera right now. Okay, wait. What do you? That smells so good. You love it? <laughs> you put too much in <laughs> my fucking nose. But wait. <gasps> it smells like, it smells like a rich princess from Disney. A rich like Disney princess, okay. he said. It smells like a rich Disney princess princess who got drunk and soaked in like a candy bath. And I don't know, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. So <laughs> a rich Disney princess mm -hmm. who soaked in a candy bath when she was drunk. Yep, exactly. Beautiful message. I love it. <laughs> okay, <it's fine. laughs> 